Yes, that's what you can call me back for the third time. Mixtapes, I wreck them properly. Boy, Noni, and uh, here promoting Shouldn't Be Local. Shout out Sean Mega TV for having us. And yeah, Shouldn't Be Local. Noni, man. A lot of people have been asking me about the whole Shouldn't Be Local. I've been promoting it for about a year now since I put up one of the second to last many videos that I posted. And uh, the hold has been life, you know? Real life working, doing what you gotta do is a dope, you know? We're not 20s, 21s anymore. And uh, you gotta make money. So I've been out a lot, and that's given me a lot of time to write, to think, to have a whole different uh, perspective on life and what I do as far as music does. So, you know, it's a ride, a roller coaster ride, this CD is, I like to think. So the hold has been that, you know, along with other minute things, you know, getting videos, getting people lined up, everybody's schedule is different, you know, we're not superstars by no means, but we do live life. So you're free, I'm busy, I'm busy, you're free, and so on and so forth. You need a collection of people to make something happen when it comes to, you know, these type of things as far as videos and productions and features and stuff of that nature. So the hold has been that, you know, life and, and people you know, getting laid or being tied up and that type of stuff, but I think it's going to be worth the wait with the, the stuff that I put together as far as, you know, the CD as a whole. The reason I've been putting so many features is because I feel that this tape represents me. It shouldn't be local. That's the name of my project and I don't think I should be where I'm at, even though I'm not the worst guy out here as far as, you know, status and popularity and all that. You know, there's a lot of us that have put in that kind of work Obviously, I'm in that list, and so I featured those artists that I believe shouldn't be local along with me. Now, there's a few that I didn't get to or didn't reach out to for some reasons, but I say it in my intro, if I've worked with you before, it's been a pleasure, and you're obviously you know, in my head as far as you shouldn't be local as well with me. So the features that I have on here are, are selective, but they fit well with the concepts of the song. You know, That's another reason why it's taking so long, because I had to make sure that everybody fit the part that I wanted them to rap on, and sing on, and so forth. As far as how I make a song, it's uh, it's, it's switched, changed over the years, you know. First it was uh, obviously just get a beat and write to it, or it was write and then find a beat that fit the lyrics. It was, you know, give or take one or the other. And then the whole Blackberry thing started. I was a pre-Blackberry user before Drake was hot, and I wrote my stuff before Drake did it, famously. Just thought I'd throw it out there. I've been saying this before even though I told news, but... Um, the Blackberry changed my life with, as far as writing on the phone. I had an idea, bam, pull it out, just type it out real quick, save it as a note, and you know, the whole smartphone movement. Uh, so for a while there, everything I was doing was off the Blackberry, off my phone. Save it, wrap off the Blackberry, scroll down, and that was it. You know, I didn't need no paper, I didn't need no pen. But it kind of got to the point where I felt like it was changing how I rapped. The far, the, the, the not writing on paper, the composition, the actual, you know, finding a pencil, a mechanical pencil that I've had the same one since I was a freshman in high school. About 10 years now, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I went from notebooks to Blackberries, and now I'm back to notebooks. But now I step in the booth or I get to, and I turn on the mic really, and um, I freestyle the idea with the beat. Put the headphones on, freestyle, la la la, hum it, kind of rap, kind of don't, kind of mumble stuff together. And then I come back to it and I rewrite as far as the procedure of how uh, how I lay down the cadence to the to the song, you know, according to the beat, and then I write to it, and then that makes it that makes my, uh, my songs now, you know. People ask me all the time, how come you ain't touring? How come you ain't doing shows? I should be local. That's why, <laughs> because here where we're at, the valley is like a little a little crab in a bucket, you know. This is where it was personified, I guess, here in the valley. And uh, as far as doing the shows, you know, usually it's been rappers performing for rappers. And it's been artists performing for artists, promoters performing for promoters. And it's never really a, a show where fans are there, you know, or people that really truly enjoy hip hop. Or there might be some, you know, that actually go out and support, but then they get five or six guys that are not as advanced as some of us are, you know, some of the guys that I've mentioned already and that I've worked with. And by the time it gets to us, me, the Meccas, the Sean Elliott's, the One Loves, then it gets to the point where it's like, I don't even want to hear you anymore because who cares? Like, I done heard so much bad stuff, I don't want to hear the good stuff. I just decided a while back to forget about shows, to forget about that and focus on the following, focus on the music, focus on people enjoying what you do online. And then eventually, it's going to build up to that, so. It's 
funny because the graduate I wrote it when I was in college. I was well, actually, I wasn't in college. Some of it I wrote in college, but the other half I had already graduated, and that's when the whole new division thing was going just about as good as it was. And um, I was partying, promoting the club, rods. I was, you know, always out at shows, rap concerts, everything. So I had a whole different vibe that I was in. It was get drunk, talk to as many girls as I can, the prettiest one, and that was basically how I was living for about a year. And so the graduate, you hear that mixtape from start to finish, and this it's just a party, you know, and I wanted to prove that I could rap. That was another thing. So that was what the graduate was about. Soon enough, I had a year of partying, and I was like, not making enough money. I had money, not enough, and I was like, you know what? I need to go do this big boy stuff. So I put the boots on and, and, and got, to, got to working. So when that went down, it was more of, okay, you know, I don't want to do this kind of job. It's kind of work for the rest of my life, no matter how much money I'm making. And soon enough, this rap stuff's gonna pay off. You know, I have a good amount of following, people that support me, people that believe in the music, aside from the family members and stuff like that, actual random people that, you know, find you and, and gravitate towards your music. So soon enough, this is gonna happen. That's what that tape was about. I don't need, this music. I don't need the music to make money. I just really do love making music. I say uh, proven that I'm a better rapper, you know, I have, uh, even with my friends, you know, that's why the whole thing about the Kendrick Lamar saying, oh, I want to be my friends at rapping, well, no fucking shit, we all want to be our friends at rapping, I want to be my friends at anything I do, you know, if I'm competing, I want to win, period, so that was not groundbreaking to me at all, but that's a whole different topic, and kind of old too, but um, yeah, just proven that I can spit better than you, or proven that I can spit as good as Drake's and J. Cole's and... I'm not saying I'm better than them, but I can spit as good as them, you know? At least on, on certain songs or certain styles or certain disses. And uh, that's what keeps me going music. You like, hear that kind of feedback when I make my G-mixes. Uh, shout out to Damage, by the way. He's the one that started that a long time ago. And I kind of just took it around with it and started doing my own thing, like a lot with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, making music where people would be like, damn, like you sound like you fit right in that song with the G-mixes. Like you, you sound like you, like you belong there. Like it's, you know, you should be featured on it. That's what keeps me going. You hear that kind of, you know, great response where you can listen to it and it's timeless you know you hear it five years from now and like yeah that song's still good it's not just a momentary song you know a momentarily song at the moment you hear it and it's good because it says something that you can relate to five years from now or people that are five right now when they're 15 they're gonna feel what i'm feeling right now and you know that type of thing the literal sense is obviously i shouldn't be local i shouldn't be a local rapper anymore you know with the work i put in uh, i should be you know Maybe not the, you know, at the billboards or at the AMAs or anything like that, but I should be at least discussed in the blogs and stuff like that. And I feel that that has nothing to do with the music. That has to do with the whole business side of it that I've yet to master, that I've yet to learn. And you know, well, it's my fault, I guess, at the end of the day. And not that I don't have that following because I wouldn't be going through any of this trouble if I did it. You know, it'd be kind of pointless. But I feel that it is, um, it is uh, somewhat, you know, frustrating. It is frustrating that I'm not where I at least should be, you know, at a certain level of, I haven't, I've peaked here and I need to get here and I've yet to get there for reasons I don't know, because if I did, obviously I wouldn't be here. I'm where I need to be, working hard for the dream to live late eventually, 9 by 6 on my chest but not on the test, sir, running through my veins, call it cardiovascular, <laughs> and I don't know how to lose this, 87 been embedded with the wheel to pull through, this my third mixtape, now nah, nothing they can say, now nah, look up on my work, it'll say I've been great, huh?